Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are continuing our holiday 2020 making series with some cocoa coconut body butter bars. The bulk of these body butter bars is fragrant, gorgeous cocoa butter, and then I have included a small amount of coconut oil. Cocoa butter makes a really great base for body butter bars because it's already brittle and melts right around body temperature. Coconut oil is a lot softer and has a much lower melting point, so in order to counter its softening effects, which you know, can kind of make more of a body butter blob than a body butter bar, I've included a couple different thickeners. I settled on a blend of rich stearic acid, slippy subtle alcohol, and then just a titch of candelilla wax. I did initially want to make this with just the stearic acid and the subtle alcohol as the additional hardeners, but I found that in order to make that work, I'd have to really reduce the coconut oil so much that it kind of seemed to defeat the point of the cocoa coconut thing. And so I included just a little bit of candelilla wax to really like kick up the hardening so that these body butter bars maintain some structural integrity through use. Because the cocoa butter and the coconut oil really make up so much of these gorgeous body butter bars, make sure you are choosing gorgeous, fragrant, really lovely cocoa butter and coconut oil. The ones that I've used in this formulation are both from Baraka Shea Butter. They were a gift and oh my gosh, they smell so good. The coconut oil in particular is their traditional coconut oil, which is roasted a bit before it's pressed into coconut oil and that extra just step makes the coconut oil smell so good. Uh, so yeah, it really, really gets a chance to shine here. As always, please make sure you are reading the full partner blog post, which is linked in the description box below. There's always a ton of great information in the partner blog post, including information on substitutions, scaling, links to places to purchase all of the ingredients, and yeah, a whole lot more. But come on, let's get started. We'll begin by combining our heated phase ingredients in a small heat resistant glass measuring cup. You'll need 39 grams of unrefined, gorgeously fragrant cocoa butter, 7.2 grams virgin, very fragrant, lovely coconut oil, 1.8 grams candelilla wax, 7.5 grams subtle alcohol, and 4.2 grams stearic acid. To melt everything, I'm going to use a water bath. So this is a small saucepan that has about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And I'm going to go put this on the stovetop over medium heat for about 20 to 30 minutes until everything has melted through. Once everything has melted through, you can remove your water bath from the heat and then remove your measuring cup from the water bath. Dry that off a bit. So our next steps are pretty quick ones. We're going to need to add our vitamin E and then we're going to quickly pour the body butter bars into our mold. So this is a silicone mold that does little half spheres. You want to make sure that your mold is firm enough that you can carry it around you know, gently and evenly when it's full to transfer it to your freezer. You're also going to need to make sure that there's room in your freezer for it. Um, if you have a really floppy mold, I would put it on a plate so that you can carry it. But this one has enough structural integrity to it that um, I'm not worried about that right now. So before we add the vitamin E, I'm going to put a little bit of mica in the bottom of each cavity of the mold. So this is a mica from Yellow Bee. It's called Sunkissed Shimmer. And I'm just taking just a little bit in the bottom of the spoon here and then just kind of sprinkling it on the sides of the mold. It's not gonna stay particularly put when we pour the, the melted mixture in there, but it'll kind of give a neat little decoration to the surface of the bars. need 0.3 grams of vitamin E. And in order to minimize the amount of heat that the vitamin E is exposed to, we want to add it right before pouring and then chill the body butter bars immediately. And now I'm going to very carefully transfer this to the freezer. Once the body butter bars have frozen solid, you can remove them from the freezer and then unmold them. So with the silicone mold, I like to kind of gently pull away at the edges a bit or loosen things up before <laughs> popping the bar out completely. Thank you. 
and there is kind of the finished look. Isn't that neat? You could try using a couple different micas to get, you know, a multicolored look. You can really have a lot of fun with that. Uh, this appearance is fairly unique to the sort of half dome. I did make some using like a little bee mold and you can see that because the bottom of the mold was you know, a lot sort of flatter than this, it got sort of more of just a, a dusted effect than a kind of boop effect. And for a skin application demo, I find that you know you can hold these for a reasonable amount of time before they start to you know really melt in your hand, which is nice. Some of the earlier versions I made started to melt way too quickly, uh, and I figure if they melt way too quickly here, uh, if you live anywhere vaguely warm, they'd melt way, way, way too quickly. Um, but there, you can see kind of as I'm rubbing it around on the hand there, it is dispensing some body butter. You can see a bit of a, a sheen on my hand there. It's got really nice movement, but does absorb into the skin quite quickly. I'm really enjoying that slip from the, uh, the subtle alcohol. And of course, everything smells amazing. But yeah, there you go. So we just made some really lovely cocoa, coconut, vegan body butter bars. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you're reading the full partner blog post linked in the description box below. There's a ton more information down there, including information about substitution, scaling, shelf life, links to places to buy all the ingredients, including the really beautiful, ultra fragrant cocoa butter and coconut oil I used and a whole lot more. But yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.